After the uh, strong earthquakes north of uh, San Francisco, we've had a tremendous amount of activity in the Cascades, and, and I'll let you look at this so you have an overall view of what's happening. And this is it right here. This is today's quakes. Today's quakes. Now, we remember what else took place today, and I um, earlier in the day made videos of this. This was the uh, 7.6 earthquake that we had, Papua New Guinea, on the 11th, and this one today, 7 magnitude. 7 magnitude. And then they uh, downgraded to 6.7, and now they upgraded it again to 7 magnitude. And uh, obviously, this shook the whole area, and even across the uh, we know Hawaii is a hot spot. Even uh, we had a first an earthquake in Hawaii before this one here. But it's obvious that this thing, 7.6, shook the whole of the Pacific. Uh, we know that it, these big earthquakes can make the, the earth ring like a bell. But look at this, what's happening here. In the uh, Cascades area, where we have the high threat volcanoes. And uh, let's go in a little bit more, Mount Hood. Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier. The yellow are the past week. The blue are today's quakes. I think Mount Hood looks as if it's got two earthquakes there. Yeah, okay, that's uh, during the week. Mount Hood. Mount Adams is there. Okay, Mount St. Helens. Let's pull out a little bit. Okay, and Mount Rainier. And if we go to the Pacific Northwest, PNSN, Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, we see that St. Helens, Mount St. Helens had 50 earthquake in the past month. And uh, Mount Hood, which is nearby, 49 earthquakes, basically the same. And Mount Rainier, 16 earthquakes. Let's go back to our map. Okay, Mount St. Helens and Mount Hood. And uh, let's take a look at the inflation of these volcanoes. Take a look at the GPS stations here on Geodesi, but uh, let's take a look at the eruptions in the Cascade Range in the past 4,000 years. Mount Baker once, recently, 200 years ago. Glacier Peak, the last one was 200 years ago. Mount Rainier. The last one 200 years ago, Mount St. Helens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in the past two to three hundred years. Mount Adams, uh, about uh, 500 years ago, a thousand years ago. Mount Hood, twice in 200 years. And here we have uh, Lassen Peak at Mount Shasta once and Lassen Peak twice. So you can see that there in the past 200 years, uh, We've had a lot of these cascades. Lassen Peak, Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake, and California. Um, now, I don't know why we had the um, tremendous activity today, but uh, let's look at the uh, geodesy. Here we have Mount St. Helens. Let's go in a little bit and see what's happening there. And this is the way we can tell if it's inflating or not. Let's go to this one. Okay, this is showing us if it's going up, it means it's going east. It's going down, so it's going west. If it's going up, it's going north. It's going down, it's going south. And uh, it's deflating, seasonally deflating. And let's go around another area. Let's go here. Again, it's going southwest and it's deflating. And let's go to the west of the uh, crater. That's not a good one, but that shows it's inflating. Let's take another one on the west. That's not inflating. And let's take one on the east. P710, and that's pretty steady. But it shows it's going southwest.
And let's take one around here. And that's not inflating. But it's moving. Okay, that's Mount St. Helens. And let's take, let's go down a little bit to Mount Hood right here. Okay, where we had the 49, sorry, the 49, where's PNSN? The 49 in the past 30 days. And let's go to Mount Hood now. Doesn't have too many GPS stations, but let's see. That's not a good one at all. But it, we see it's uh, basically inflating. Let's take another one. Let's take this one. BRSP. It's all over the place. And let's take one to the south. And this is going southwest and it's pretty steady and take this one here all over the place southwest and it's all over the place that's Mount Hood so um, all of you there please be very careful because we have a lot of activity there I don't know what's happening but it's a strange thing to see this straight line going all the way up today. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.